In this video, we shall explore how China is transforming the world's most inhospitable deserts into thriving, habitable spaces through cutting-edge building technology. Yes, you heard that right, deserts, once barren and dry, are becoming homes for humans and wildlife. Stay tuned as we dive into the incredible innovations that are making this possible and how they could change the future of our planet. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on more amazing content like this. Part 1. What is Desertification? Before we get into how China is pulling off this miracle, let's take a moment to understand what desertification is and why it's such a big problem. Desertification happens when fertile land, which could have supported crops or vegetation, becomes dry and barren, much like a desert. This could be caused by various factors, such as prolonged droughts, deforestation, poor farming practices, or even climate change. The scariest part? Over 40% of the planet's land is at risk of desertification. That's nearly half of the Earth's surface. Now, think about China. It's home to some of the largest deserts in the world, like the Gobi Desert, which spans over 1 million square kilometers. That's a lot of land. Every year, the desert slowly advances, swallowing up fertile land, ruining agriculture, and creating massive sandstorms that carry dust and pollution into nearby cities. This leads to even more environmental damage, making life harder for millions of people. But here's where it gets interesting. China doesn't just sit back and watch the desert take over. They've taken drastic measures to stop the desert's spread and even reverse it. So, how do they plan on turning these barren wastelands back into productive land? Well, let's talk about the game-changing desert-building technology China is using. Part 2. The Genius of China's Desert-Building Technology You might be wondering, why is China so invested in fixing the desert? Well, the answer lies in the importance of this land for agriculture, the economy, and even public health. In the early 2000s, China realized that desertification was a serious threat, not only to the environment but also to the livelihoods of millions of people. So they launched ambitious programs to combat desertification. But the true breakthrough came a decade ago with the development of revolutionary desert reclamation technology. This is where things get exciting. China's approach to desert reclamation is multifaceted, combining scientific research, environmental knowledge, and high-tech engineering. Imagine a blank canvas, dry, cracked earth stretching endlessly. And now, think of scientists using cutting-edge methods to bring life back to it. What does this process look like? Well, it involves a variety of strategies aimed at restoring the desert to its former fertile state. Here's a breakdown. Strategy 1. Planting Vegetation China's scientists have developed a method to grow plants that can survive in dry, salty desert soil. These hardy plants help stabilize the soil, prevent erosion, and promote the growth of more vegetation over time. Strategy 2. Creating Artificial Oases to help sustain these plants, China has also created artificial oases, man-made water sources that provide the necessary hydration for desert ecosystems. Strategy 3. Using special materials. The technology doesn't just stop with plants and water. China has developed special materials that can withstand extreme desert conditions, including scorching heat and frequent sandstorms. These materials are used for everything from building structures to planting crops. Strategy 4. Soil Stabilization One of the coolest innovations is soil stabilizing techniques. Typically, desert soil is dry, salty, and unsuitable for plant life. But China's scientists have found ways to bind the sand together, preventing it from blowing away and creating fertile ground for new plants to grow. It's like they're turning a desert into a garden. It sounds almost like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's happening right now in China. And it's not just about bringing plants back, it's about turning the desert into a place that sustainably supports life. Part 3. How does desert building technology work? Now let's get into the nitty gritty. How does China transform these desolate deserts into green oases? It all starts with a detailed, step-by-step -step process that combines advanced technology and environmental science. Step 1. Improving the soil. Desert soil is typically dry, salty, and lifeless, making it almost impossible for plants to grow. The first step in China's reclamation process is to improve the soil. Scientists have come up with eco-friendly methods, like introducing microbes that help convert dry, salty soil into something plants can thrive in. It's a natural way to restore the soil's fertility, setting the stage for new life to sprout. 
Step 2. Managing Water Water is the ultimate challenge in deserts. Without water, nothing grows. So, China has developed advanced irrigation systems, including huge pipelines and channels that bring water from nearby sources into the desert. But the technology doesn't stop there. They've also created methods to desalinate seawater, turning salty ocean water into fresh water for irrigation. This innovative solution makes water available even in places where fresh water is scarce. Step 3. Vegetation and Forest Building Once the soil is improved and the water is managed, the next step is planting. And we're talking about large-scale reforestation projects. China has been planting entire forests in the desert. These forests act as windbreaks to prevent sand from spreading, provide shade to cool the environment, and create a self-sustaining ecosystem where plants, animals, and even insects can thrive. The greenery also brings moisture to the air, helping even more plants to grow. It's a perfect cycle of life, one that transforms a barren wasteland into a thriving environment. Step 4. Building Cities and Infrastructure Now, here's the truly mind-blowing part. Not only is China turning deserts into farmlands and forests, but they're also building entire cities. That's right, cities with skyscrapers, roads, and modern infrastructure, all in the middle of a desert. These cities are designed to be eco-friendly, using renewable energy sources and green spaces to create a sustainable living environment. Take the Tianjin Eco City, for example. It sits on land that was once part of the desert, but now stands as a bustling metropolis that's both modern and sustainable. These cities show the world that living in the desert doesn't have to mean sacrificing comfort or sustainability. Part 4. Real-World Examples of Success You might be asking, does this work? Oh, it does. Let's take a look at some real-world examples where China's desert building technology has been a massive success. Kabuki Desert in the Kabuki Desert, China has transformed over 1,000 square kilometers of desert land into farmland. This was achieved through reforestation, efficient water management, and land restoration techniques. Today, farmers are growing crops like wheat and vegetables, and even raising livestock in what was once a completely barren area. Tianjin Eco City The Tianjin Eco City is another incredible success. Built on land that was once desert, this eco-city is now a modern urban center powered by renewable energy. It features sustainable buildings and green spaces, and is designed to minimize environmental impact. It's proof that even the harshest environments can be transformed into thriving, sustainable urban centers. Part 5. The Global Impact Now let's zoom out and think about the global implications of China's desert reclamation efforts. Could this technology work in other parts of the world? Absolutely! The technology is already being tested in regions like the Middle East and Africa, where desertification is a growing problem. Countries like Sudan, Egypt, and Saudi Arabia could potentially adopt these methods to reclaim desert land, boost food production, create jobs, and fight climate change. Turning deserts into green zones could also help with carbon capture, reducing greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and combating global warming. By stopping dust storms, we can reduce air pollution and restore ecosystems vital for maintaining a stable climate. And there you have it, guys. China's desert building technology is not just an impressive innovation, it's a game changer for the planet. From transforming deserts into green farmlands to building sustainable cities, this technology is paving the way for a greener, more sustainable future. So, what do you think? Could this be the key to solving desertification around the world? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.